I found an unlikely stories in 1998 on the web as Web Only Enterprise um, when I was 23 years old. Um, I did not know what I was doing at the time, but fortunately, neither did anyone else who believed in the validity of web literature. So, um, you know, the, we all kind of grew up together. Um, part of the way I grew up was with two very dear friends, um, Ann McMillan and Kurt Kuchemon. Um We got together, he was um, six years younger than I, and he was in between our ages, and we really uh, compared notes, we compared what we were reading, and we taught each other to write. I mention this because um, Kurt died earlier this week. Uh, he was 32 years old, and I, I wanted to dedicate at least what I did tonight to my dear friend Kurt, who was so instrumental in the development of unlikely stories and unlikely books, and had such an effect on so many people who read neo-pulp literature on the web and otherwise. And before we started, I just wanted to read a brief piece by him. Um, a really, a really um, um, funny man, a really sharp at taking the most, um, in the in grand neo-pulp style, taking the darkest, most obscene um, scenarios and making them screamingly funny. This is called Humiliating Dirge by Kurt Kuchemont. Corey Feldman recently um, Corey Feldman reads a concerned Tom Green several of his favorite selections from Mein Kampf. <laughs> Dateline! I am left at as I make oatmeal in the middle of the night. I was born May 31st. That's Walt Whitman's birthday, 15 minutes before midnight, just as the doctor was pouring out his dramatic coffee on my gooey body to wash me off, and I dove into the toilet with cord still attached and slithered into it, where I met a strange man in the sewer who raised me and cooked my umbilical cord to eat with teriyaki in a pan, all the while teaching me how to knit and kill. Then one day all these people became flushing their toilets and I was flushed out of the sewer while asleep in a rowboat where I floated down the street. My eyes were useless for I had lived underground, little dim pockets of translucent skin, and the boat floated down the busy street and right into the back of a truck that was going to Mexico. When I finally woke up, laying in a Catholic church, draped in flowers and knickknacks, with pretty bearded nuns poking and prodding my soft body with stale tortillas. I began screaming and thrashing around when I was placed into a coffin and buried alive. So now here I am, and it's quite a story. But who can fall in love with a man who's part salamander, part human, and that is my final burden to carry? My eyes, however, have evolved, and I can now see the color red. Aww. And Kurt Kuchemon, rest in peace.